Sometimes I light a cigarette to throw away my care But when I'm finished lighting it, the ash leaves me impaired I've been so bad for so long And it's showing up my mind Hey everybody, it is Quicken and today I am going to be touching up my hair It has been just looking pretty like un kempt these last couple episodes on my channel and all with like due reasoning i have been trying to fade out my hair for a while now today i am going to be using some of the guy tang colors um by kenra and these are both silver colors and i have let me see what this is i have eight sm by guy tang and then i have kenra create a color Creative Color Direct Deposit in Charcoal. Both of these on the package say that they are not tested on animals, so that is pretty cool, something I'm into. And I'm also into having silver hair. So, um, a little bit of history on my hair. Over the summer, it was dyed a jewel tone kind of blue. After that faded out, we went to a more pastel series, but my hair has not been lifted since then. Both of these colors, you will need lifted hair. Um, you need to be blonde underneath. You can kind of tell here that this is like kind of a blonde color and then underneath here Sorry, I'm looking in the monitor. There is like a little bit of blue it Seems that like behind my ear seems to hold a lot of color and then this is like a washed out Kind of green that I'm just not vibing with. I saw Guy Tang did something where he called it like mint chocolate chip and I was like that makes me feel confident, but still, I'm like pretty over this whole hair color situation here. Stay tuned today, and I will show you some before and afters of my first impressions of the Kenra 8 SM, SM meaning silver metallic, and yeah, stay tuned. Everything you are going to need, obviously, is your color. I got these from Cosmoprof. Um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, but I'm sure you can get these off Amazon. I will write yes or no in this corner if that's possible. With this demi-permanent color, you do not need a developer. This is direct deposit, painted on your hair, wait, and that's exactly what you're going to get. And then this is our Kenra, um, our Kenra color, and this does require a developer. I'm going to be using 20 volume developer today. I'm just going to mix equal parts. So you'll need a bowl, a paintbrush, some developer. Mine is in a water bottle because I stole it from work. And I have gloves if that's your preference. I like using gloves to apply any old color. And um, we'll get started. I am going to be applying my lighter color first and that is just because this is deposit only so I'm going to be using this on my root area. My root is not lifted so this is not going to deposit a true color. It's more just going to develop a tone and I'm also going to use this as a buffer between um, the darkest part of my hair and the light just so it has a bit of a transition from the 8SM to my natural. So that's what the charcoal is going to do. And I'll show you how I apply that as well. And then the 8SM. So I am, my bowl kind of has like some numbers in the corner, but if you are doing this at home, you know, you can do equal parts. I have to do my whole head here. So kind of looks like it has oxidized a little bit in the tube with all that red. So I'm hoping that works out. I did a couple test strands on a mannequin at work and I really love the way it came out so hopefully that red doesn't mess us up here. Put on some gloves and there's no secret way of like how I apply this. Um, I'm just going to section my hair in fours and get going here.
because my hair is balayage, I'm kind of using a comb to just make sure that the color kind of applies evenly to all the different parts. And since this is um, this kind of color, the, the ASM is only going to go and attach to level 8 hair. I don't really have to worry about it going onto my base too much. Um, it's not going to do anything to the dark hair. It's only going to do anything to light hair. Just like check the back here. Every and make sure and just let me know if it's not all covered. I'm not covered piece would kind of look like this. No, I mean it looks like you got the ends of everything pretty good. Everything back here. Yeah. The picture over here that I was trying to figure out not too long ago. What is it? I don't know. I don't even know if it's here anymore. Huh. Is it this picture of my grandma drinking rosé? So you can definitely see that it is starting to develop pretty quickly. And I would say if you're using this at home without a ton of experience, just keep an eye on your hair um, so it doesn't develop too dark. Um, with the test piece that I did the other day on the mannequin, um, I let it sit for 25 minutes. So I'm going to do that now. but. If you don't want it to be super dark, I do recommend just keeping an eye on it so it doesn't develop too far beyond um, the color you want. This is not going to be like your normal like manic panic kind of thing. This will continue to develop um, until it expires, which would be like an hour. But I'm going to let this stay on for 25 minutes. So I am back after after rinsing um, the 8SM out of my hair and then shampooing it and then I kind of blow dried. So I would say I like the coverage so far. I like these pieces in the front the most. So I guess if anything, I would have let it process longer because it looks like this section that I started on is kind of the best section but we'll see once I style it and everything so now I am going to go in with the um, the direct deposit color in charcoal and I'm just going to work that through my base here to give me like a little shadow root and like again it's not going to deposit like a whole bunch it's just going to give us a little bit of a shadow and kind of diffuse any sort of like brassiness that might be in the transition and I'm not seeing a ton I was a little worried about that but it looks like a lot of it is covered here and uh, cool yeah so I'm just gonna get started going to kind of blur that line with a little bit of this movement here and that'll kind of help with that transition piece just so there's not like any brassiness or like in my case any like green like you can kind of see right here where that brassy kind of weird transition is so I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of this charcoal and just smooth that away and you can always use a comb too if that is easier or like more helpful Now that I have all the roots done, I'm kind of just combing the whole thing. 
I don't really have to worry about it transferring that color. This will kind of just help everything blend in place. Um, I'm going to let it process again for another 25 minutes. So this is the final result. I really, really like it. I mean, I'm under like ring lights, so I feel like the intensity of the hair is a little confusing, but I'll definitely get a shot in natural light. This is just like a quick blow dry, um, but I really love the way it came out. I think the melt is really nice. And I really do like this color. I'm like looking at myself in this mirror here. It's definitely really consistent. And especially since my hair had inconsistencies, like I don't know if you remember the beginning of the episode, I showed behind my ear and it had like a lot of color still left in the hair. Like my hair was not freshly bleached. It had previous color like stained onto it. And I think it came out really nicely. I really like it. I um, I recommend this stuff, this uh, Kenra 8SM. I think it was really nice. And I, I like the way that looks. I mean, what time is it? Uh, 7.30. So this is my 7.30 look for the grocery store, but I think it looks pretty fly. I like it a lot and just like pulling it apart, I think it's really nice. Definitely like, like an ice kind of silver, not like, um, not like a slate or anything like that, but definitely cute. Do you like it? Yes. It looks, I don't know, you did a really good job with it. Does it look different? Yeah. Yeah, my pr the color I was wearing before was definitely just like a mishmash of everything all washed out of my hair and I did have multicolor highlights and this definitely provided like really good and even coverage over the like different dimensional different colors I had in my hair. So I'm really impressed. I really like this. Um I would definitely stick with this. So I rinsed with cold water and then used conditioner, rinse that out with cold water, and then I just styled um, with a blow dryer. So yeah, what do you think? Definitely let me know. Do you like this uh, color on me? I don't know how else to say it, but you guys are pretty good with letting me know how you feel. Um, so leave your comments down below. Have any of you ever tried any of Guy Tang's color with Kenra? Uh, I mean, I subscribe to Guy Tang and I watch all of his color videos, but I have never used his products personally. My salon isn't a Kenra salon, so other than like the strand test I did on my mannequin, this is the very first time I've used this color and I really like it. So let me know down below and uh, until next time, bye.